Hi all, welcome to my home garden. Today we'll be doing a harvest of organic vegetables that we have in our backyard at the moment. Parthi and I are passionate about growing vegetables and fruits in our backyard. Over the summer we had a bountiful harvest of beans, carrots, aubergine, cauliflower and peppers. <laughs> Parthi is very very happy. Yay. Let's spend the day together. I do enjoy my morning quiet time in the weekends. I love waking up early. I love the quiet before the city wakes up. I love shuffling around my house, trying not to trip over my kids' toys. I love watering the indoor plants, making hot chocolate for my kids and feeling my senses wake up with the smell. I made millet dosa batter last night and kept it warm inside the oven. See how beautifully it has fermented. Most of the days I try and empty my dishwasher first thing in the morning so that I won't be putting the dirty dishes in the sink throughout the day. I love making yogurt at home. Buying a high quality yogurt at the grocery store is expensive and it's much more cost effective to make it myself. And moreover, my kids love the taste of homemade yogurt. I'm going to make a mango and a coconut smoothie for their breakfast. It's a very simple smoothie recipe. I will add coconut pieces, almonds, frozen mango chunks, a few dates and a bit of honey for sweetness. I will blend it with yogurt. Parthi is chopping veggies for making idli upma for us. Idli upma is one of my favorite South Indian breakfast. We have some leftover idlis from last night. This recipe is the best way to turn leftover idlis into a refreshing new meal.
My mom used to prepare this for evening snack, sometimes for lunch box also. You can use any vegetables with this idli upma, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, peas, peppers, anything. We have a lot of chili plants this year. We are going to overwinter them in our greenhouse. You need to prune the plants and then get them ready for overwintering. We are moving all of them to our greenhouse to keep them safe from this cold weather. This chili is called basket of fire. It grows upwards. This is a very hot chili. These are bhaji chilies. We enjoyed cooking mirchi bhaji so many times. We had two varieties of them. This dark green and then a light green as well. I love making bhajis outside that too in this rainy weather. It is so amazing. It's really, really nice. I'm enjoying so much. And these ones are Mexican chilies. They are ripening now. I'm going to preserve the seeds for planting next year. We'll be planting again in springtime. These chilies are super hot peppers, Mexican variety. First thing in the morning or last thing in the evening is when you'll find me outside. I put on a jumper and get to work. And this is courgette. It's called a zucchini in many countries. Nice and fresh courgette. We had an amazing bounty of courgettes and cucumbers this year. Even gherkins, they were amazing. We are almost nearing the end of the season. This year the autumn weather was a bit milder. So many vegetable plants survived for a long time. This is my aubergine. We planted different types of eggplants this year. We have green, purple and white eggplants. And also the zebra eggplant, which is suitable for Indian cooking. My most favorite is the green aubergine. I somehow like the taste of green aubergine stir fry. This is the globe aubergine. It's also called as American eggplant. Many varieties. We have this Italian eggplant too. I made bang and butter recipe so many times. For bang and butter, you need to fire roast the eggplant, mash it, and then cook it with spices. It's lovely with rotis or rice. I even use it as a sandwich filler. Only this summer we bought this jasmine plant. It's a Chinese star jasmine. See how overgrown it is already. It probably needs more framework. 
we made this trellis recently we use it for bottle guard bottle guard is also at the end of the season see how hard it is shell is really hard we are over ripening this also for seeds next year this one is also for seeds we'll probably harvest them today and collect the seeds i think they are ready we had french beans all over this place during summer see there is a squash we had long beans in this trellis we harvested them many times and shared them with our neighbors home grown vegetables always taste better than the store bought ones don't they because they are so fresh it is just from garden to your kitchen we are going to clear up all this we need to get the garden ready for winter this winter squash is also ready to be harvested i have many vegetable plants in our greenhouse also i'll show you we had a lot of chili plants this year i'm going to overwinter them in our heater greenhouse these are sort of sweet chilies they are not hot at all i made green chili pickle this summer i mixed a sweet and super hot chilies together it gave a wonderful flavor we have some bitter gourd here bottle gourd plant and also snake gourd plants inside our greenhouse we planted them a little later so that it will go into the autumn and early winter season this is a small snake gourd coming up since we are maintaining the heat inside our greenhouse these plants will survive the cold frost this winter this is bitter gourd this is for seeds next year all the gourd plants you can't keep them they are not perennial plants it just comes for only one season next year we need to plant again in spring this is chayote we had a good harvest this autumn i need to clear it now it doesn't grow again there are some vegetable plants that are perennial they will grow year after year like uh, rhubarb asparagus and chilies they are also perennial I'm going to harvest some potatoes and aubergines and make a very quick lunch. It's a very simple easy recipe but it's very very yummy. My kids just love it. Working in our garden is something both Parthi and I always love. It makes us happy. It gives relaxation from office related stress. For making the potato roasty, I'll first grate the aubergine and also the potato. See how much juice is coming out because the vegetables are so fresh. They are straight from the garden. I will grate two garlic pods. If the potatoes are old, they'll be almost dry. So I don't need to squeeze the juice out. But this was so juicy, that's why I had to remove it. I normally add some chickpea flour and a pinch of turmeric with the potato juice. It makes a wonderful homemade face pack to remove dark spots. It's really nice. Try it. 
I'm adding some salt, garam masala, little bit of black pepper powder and two eggs. If you want, you can also add some green chilies, but I'm not adding them since my kids are going to be eating. They don't like that spicy food. This is a very quick lunch because I have to go back to my garden. We have got lots of things to do in the garden. It's a very healthy lunch with the freshly harvested vegetables. All you have to do is mix everything together, put it in the pan with a little bit of oil. Once it forms the crust at the bottom, turn it over like this using a plate and then cook the other side for a couple of more minutes. Your lunch is ready. This is a round bottle gourd variety. You don't get the seeds for this one. Usually you get the long ones. I bought this variety from Amazon a few years ago and then every year we preserve the seeds for next year. We had a really good harvest of beans this year. All throughout the summer, we had so much of beans, these long beans, and it's the end of the season. See, the plants have all died now. There are a few of them. We had left them for seeds. We need to harvest them. And for there are a few tender ones as well. I can use it for stir fries in a couple of days. One of the plants is still green, but it won't produce any vegetables hereafter. It's the cold weather. I have a few capsicum plants in these pots. I need to move them to the greenhouse as well. Look at the state of our pond. Lot of algae has developed. See how it looks. So bad, right? <laughs> we cleaned it during summer. It was beautiful. We had lot of lily flowers in the pond. And I think we neglected it during autumn. We both were busy. Kids had their classes, you know, their swimming lessons, riding, dance classes. So we were sort of busy. We need to clean this blanket weed and this floating algae. We can just fish it out and dispose it. We need to do it. Can you see the mushroom there? <laughs> Looks like it has sprouted overnight. I'm very sure it wasn't here yesterday. I was here in the garden yesterday. See? How big? How is it possible? It's like magic. How did this happen? One big mushroom in one night. It looks really strong. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> it's not going. <laughs> See, really strong. My neighbor gets really annoyed whenever she sees mushroom in her lawn. But uh, for me, it's okay. It's just fungi, isn't it? It just sprouts when the weather is right, when it has the damp, wet weather and the little bit warmth condition. See how many are sprouting. I know even if I kick it out, even if I remove it, the pores will fall out everywhere and it's going to propagate. I know that. I know it's mushroom season this year. And I've got lots of leaves as well in the garden. We need to remove them. We need to either blow them out or, uh, or maybe we can cut the grass so that the leaves will be removed. See, we still have some vegetables here. These are all the squash varieties. These are my fruit trees, dwarf fruit trees. 
we have couple of apple trees and then figs we have and then uh, cherry tree and uh, blueberry all the soft fruits we have gooseberry blueberries and lot of strawberries see the leaves we had a good harvest of strawberries and blueberries this year and even gooseberries gooseberries were really good in summer see loads of leaves if we don't remove these leaves the grass under it will rot it won't grow properly and you will have patches during the next summer you will see patches see how many leaves it's not possible to pick it by hand uh, even by blowing it out a blower won't work because it's a little bit damp maybe we can uh, maybe we can cut the grass that will pick it up lawn mower will pick it up that's what we are going to do today and i need to tidy the garden get the garden ready for winter i'm going to do that now see there's a lot of weed here we need to remove these weeds in the flower bed this is my strawberry plant i have few patches of them lovely strawberry plants but it's full of weeds mm. see since the season is over vegetable season see lot of cucumbers are rotten here <laughs> we couldn't pick them up we had so much of cucumbers this year these are the last ones and loads of marrows as well this is a small marrow but the plant has died so we need to harvest it anyway some of them are really small marrows we had big big marrows this year loads and loads of them I almost love gardening as much as I love cooking. Seeing the fruits of my labor brings me so much joy and peace. This is a lovely marrow. We've got lot of them even now. We cooked so many times. Marrow can be used in Indian cooking also. I do lot of curries also with that. See, I told you many of them are rotten here all of those are cucumbers cucumbers and some courgettes also we got tired of eating cucumbers really there are more marrows here say so, oh curly marrow it's the first time they were always straight this time it is curly more marrows here see you can't almost you miss them they are almost the color of the earth isn't there soil color Mm, Pati is picking all the rest of the vegetables from here. We have got some more as well, some more capsicum and um, see more marrows. <laughs> I've got some chocolate capsicum as well. This one is chocolate peppers. They don't taste like chocolate. They just look like chocolate. I I tried it only this time. I thought it might taste like chocolate, but it doesn't. and there are more potatoes as well i only picked a few of them today just for lunch there are more of them there are three more big sacks see all the small ones mm. there are quite a lot of baby potatoes as well we had a lot of sweet potatoes also this year two full bags of sweet potatoes i harvested and i've got some beetroot as well it is fully grown i need to harvest them but i'm not harvesting them today this is snowball courgette you see the bright yellow one orange one snowball courgette round courgette it is this is where we had all our cruciferous vegetables like broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage and everything and this side it was full of tomatoes big patch of tomatoes see there are two egg plants left here indian varieties these ones are and i've got a chili plant also i didn't notice it <laughs> this is the basket of fire chili which grows upwards it's really really hot chilies these ones are they look very small but very very hot fiercely hot <laughs> i've got some few more cabbages here good cabbages really good cabbages i need to harvest them as well mm, a few more cabbages are left We had lot of cabbages this year, lot of cabbages and broccoli also. I need to clear out all this. We are going to the whole this week, and we are going to be cleaning up the garden. 
see all the dead plants and it has to be weeded get the garden ready for winter few more pumpkins here there are two more left here we had varieties of pumpkins this year even the white pumpkin yellow and uh, green varieties and lot of squashes also this year weather was really good really good even for tomatoes it was really good weather this year we had massive harvest in our garden many times many times we had harvest and we shared all the vegetables with our neighbors and friends with everyone because it was a lot for our family so we shared it with everyone and some more cucumbers look lots of cucumbers <laughs> we left them rot at the end so all the rotten ones they will decompose and it will become really nutritious soil and we can put it in compost also some of them we throw it in the compost it will decompose and it will give a very good nutritious compost for next year see i've got some capsicum as well these are green capsicum mm, this one is really grown nicely grown we have varieties of capsicum i like uh, yellow capsicum red varieties and the green, this is green one we enjoyed capsicum also this year and these ones are orange capsicum but i'm going to cut it anyway see they are ripening to orange color it is still not ripe when it ripens capsicum gives that amazing taste and not while it is uh, green because it is a fruit it has to ripen it is the same as tomatoes it's really good when you bake it with a little bit of sugar inside you have to cut it into two and then add a little bit sugar and then bake it it's really nice oh two more <laughs> two more cucumbers three more cucumbers here We have got a little compost here. We throw in all the leaves and um, dead grass and vegetables, rotten vegetables, you know, for them to decompose and it will make a lovely compost for next year. For next spring, it will be really ready. Look at the wheelbarrow, it's full of rainwater. <laughs> we weren't using for the past couple of weeks, it's uh, rainwater has filled in it. I've got lots of weeds here. I need to remove the weeds as much as I can. This is the dish we use for fox. Any chicken or fish leftovers, we leave it there and the fox will eat it. We have urban fox coming here. This water butt, we use it in summer mostly for watering the lawn and the plants. Look at the weeds everywhere. This is a lovely flower tree. I'm going to remove the weeds, but first thing I'm going to make some masala tea. And these are dead flowers from my vase. I'm going to put them in the compost as well. We need a tea break. I'm going to make some masala tea and also some mixture for us. It's going to be a tea break in a little while. I made this masala piece a couple of days ago. It's really, really spicy and also very tasty. It's amazing with tea. As most of us know, weeds can become problematic if left to go wild. And if you don't manage them at the beginning of winter, they'll become a bigger problem come springtime. 
Making compost from garden and kitchen waste is very easy. If you add grass cuttings, it will enrich nitrogen in your compost. It's really good for vegetables and fruit plants. There comes the time in the year when our gardens begin to wind down and bunker in for autumn and winter. It's a time to trim back, de-weed, mulch and tidy up. You need to protect the root of the plants from getting the frost. There is an easy solution to it. We add grass cuttings to the base and mix it with the soil. I also use the dry leaves. I add another thick layer of grass at the top of the soil. This will protect the plants from freezing cold weather. This grass and dried leaves also mulch into the soil and make a wonderfully nutritious compost which the plant will need in springtime to grow again. Perhaps the most pleasurable early winter job is planting bulbs for springtime like tulips, daffodils, pansies, bluebells and snowdrops. I just love flowers, spring flowers particularly. Just the thought of them will remind you why you are out there braving the cold working in the garden. Starting a new vegetable patch is easy to do, but preparing for winter is also important if you want to have a good, bountiful harvest the following summer. Soil preparation is so vital for vegetable patches and raised beds like this. Because the crop this year has already taken all the nutrients from the soil, so we need to enrich this soil again. And now is the great time for it. We made these three raised beds this year, especially for growing organic vegetables. Dig the soil thoroughly to remove weeds and stones and rake it level so it's easy to manage. We add dried grass and dried leaves and mix it thoroughly. This will make sure that the vegetable plants will get more nitrogen when they start growing. At the initial stages, they need more of nitrogen, but at a later stage, when they start flowering and producing, you need to add powdered eggshells or horse manure or chicken pellets to increase the potassium in the soil. That way the plants will produce more. You can see I have also topped it with freshly cut grass. This will also mulch into the soil and prevent it from frosting. This is my apple tree. I am doing the same soil treatment for this also. There is one body car in the tree. Up on the tree. <laughs> Where? Uh, it's over there. I didn't see. Oh my god, it has gone to neighbors. <laughs> see. Oh, wow, bottle guard in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the evening I'm tired a little bit tired since I've been working from morning I've harvested the vegetables we both have 
I'm a little bit tired now so I'm going to go and make a very quick dinner. I'm going to make some quinoa khichdi. I had already soaked 1 cup of quinoa and a half cup of moong dal for making this khichdi. I've added a teaspoon of olive oil to the pan. I'm going to add in a little bit of jeera and a cinnamon stick and then chopped onions and ginger garlic paste. cover and cook it for two whistles in pressure cooker i hope you guys found this video helpful to you if you are starting your vegetable gardening if you want to watch more such videos please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll catch you guys later bye bye